Hi everyone, welcome back. We're on to our next item that we're pouring these colors on, which are Reflex Rose from Amsterdam and Liquitex Prism Violet. My cell activator is PBO Titanium White and Amsterdam Paints Gray. I've already got all the colors on, and I've got the cell activator on, and it's doing its thing, and I'm about to blow. I see a couple bubbles. I just want to pop those. Okay, here we go. And there's the there's the bloom. It's gonna all fill in on its own. I'm not gonna do anything to it. Usually does its own thing, which is amazing and helpful. <laughs> Look at that bright pop of pink there. tongue twister bright pop of pink <laughs> it looks like I might need to help this one a little bit Oh, it's one. That side is fine. I'm not going to do any more. And what is happening after we blow, all of that white is turning into the color because that's the cell activator underneath it. On top of it, sorry. So now we spin it out and hopefully we find some beauty. And I'm sure we will. These colors have been quite successful together on all of the other items. And I just got white paint on my nose. Look at how it's already reaching the edges just about. These trivets are amazing. Of course, I resin everything. So it's more durable. And food safe and heat safe stone coat resin is the one I lean to and favor over all the other brands. I have all the other brands because I was doing testing of the best ones, and by far, stone coat is the best, but it's hard to get. Ordering from the states takes a couple weeks. And of course you pay duty and the exchange rate for Canada. It's like, ugh. I have a KS Resin affiliate code that'll be posted in the description box. And that is a good alternate, especially for doing like coasters and unique items that you want to create. That's what I use that resin for. Another one that was really good was Designer Poxy. Epoxy. That one was really good too. Look at this colors. Oof. Just needed to open up. Get a little bit bigger. And it's getting there now. Like I say, this one's always takes so much longer. Paint everywhere.
but once they reach the edges and stuff and then they they grow bigger and fill in and don't look so scrawny <laughs> scrawny i guess i call it that but there's lots of pillow coming off and i didn't think i put that much on oh well goes into my bucket here which i reuse repurpose it Just about there. I'd like to have all the white not showing, but I don't think that's going to happen. Look at those cells. And every time I spin, I'm moving it. I'm moving the spinner, whichever way. That was a really good one. This might do it. Just about, just this side. I think I've got enough off. And it doesn't hurt to do a few more just to make sure. Look at that. This will be the last one and it's still got up to seven minutes so you see how I'm struggling with the pillow paint sorry just not as easy to use but I think we'll take it let's see if I can bring it up oh, it beautiful if you guys like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber i appreciate everybody who's joining and helping me grow i'm proud of that and any suggestions tips or ideas comments please put them in the description box all of the items that i'm using will be in there as well and everybody take care and have a great day